Today we are going to get the Columbus Blue Jackets a Stanley Cup. And to help them along the way, every team that wins the Stanley Cup will be removed from the league entirely. Let's see how many teams we have to remove before they can win a Stanley Cup. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Year number one will be a quick finish because we didn't even make the playoffs. We tied with the Devils, but they won the tiebreaker. We had a 39, 34, and 9 record. Yannick Gaudreau led our team in points with 82, but Patrick Laine led the team in goals with 36. Whereas Leakins, as our starting goalie, only won 29 games. He had four shutouts and a 9.07 save percentage, 2.77 goals against average, but couldn't get the job done. Connor McDavid and Brad Marchand both tied to lead the league in points with 107, with Connor McDavid winning the league title in goals with 54. Ilya Samsonov led the league in wins with 42. He also had five shutouts and a 9.15 save percentage and a 2.58 goals against average. The first team we will be removing from the league is the Minnesota Wild as they beat the Carolina Hurricanes in the Stanley Cup Finals in six games. Aho, Kaprizov, and Teravainen all tied for top of the league in playoff points with 24. While Steven Stamkos, who didn't even make it to the Stanley Cup Finals, led the playoffs in goals with 12. And Mark andre Fleury was the Stanley Cup winning goalie. 15 wins, so the backup got one win. Three shutouts and a 9-3-0 save percentage with a 2.22 goals against the average. After removing the Minnesota Wild, we're still not in the playoffs. Finishing with 92 points, a 43, 33, and 6 record, 6th in our division, even though we finished 13th in the entire league. Johnny Gaudreau led our team in points again with 102, Line 8 leading our team in goals again with 54. And Johnny Gaudreau's 102 points was good enough to lead the entire league, while the custom OV that I still haven't gotten rid of, but I'll get rid of after this season, led the league in goals with 60. I don't know why I forgot again. I will get rid of him at the end of the season. 34 wins for Merzlikens with two shutouts, a 9-1-2 save percentage, and a 2.74 goals against average. While Jack Campbell led the league in wins with 40, he had seven shutouts, a 9-1-7 save percentage, and a 2.47 goals against average. And even with two OVs, Washington still can't win the cup. The St. Louis Blues are your Stanley Cup champions, and they will be removed from the league next year. Braden Shen and Bushnevich both tied with 23 points to lead in the playoffs, while Mini OV led the league in goals with 14, even though he only played 19 games. Sadly, you will not be here next season, Mini OV. I'm sorry. Sadly, Jordan Biddington did win the cup with 16 wins, a 918 save percentage, and a 2.47 goals against average. Luckily, we don't have to worry about him next year. We can just move on. Year number three, we finally make the playoffs, and we don't just make the playoffs, we win our division with a 50. 26 and 6 record 106 points earned finishing third in the entire league weird season because johnny Gaudreau once again led our team in points but he only had 75 points his lowest number yet and it is the year that we made the playoffs whereas leakins 44 wins and 74 games played he literally played almost the entire season which is crazy three shutouts a 911 save percentage and a 2.73 goals against average brad marchand led the league in points with 93 with Nikita Kutrova leading the league in goals with 51. And unsurprisingly, considering how many games he played, Merzlikens did lead the league in wins with 44. Our first playoff opponents are the New York Islanders. Sadly, our playoff run ends as fast as it started, losing the series in seven games in a very close series. Colorado Avalanche are your Stanley Cup champions, meaning they will not participate in next season. Borchek leading the team in points with nine and leading the team in goals with five. Goaltending was not it in terms of playoff performance. One game played for Corpus Allo. Corpus Allo lasted 13 minutes with a 600 save percentage and an 8.75 goals against average, which is just terrible. And Merzlikens an 899 save percentage, a 3.39 goals against average. Sadly, not winning the series. And Fransuz does get it done with one of the best goaltending performances I've ever seen in this game. 16 wins, 6 shutouts, a 9.51 save percentage, and a 1.43 goals against average. That is actually legendary. I don't think I've ever seen numbers like that. Miko Rantanen led the playoffs in points with 28. McKinnon had 27, as well as leading the playoffs in goals with 14. Year number four, we are once again back in the playoffs with a 48, 25, and 9 record, earning 105 points for second in our division. Also finishing third in the league once again. Johnny Gaudreau is clearly the best point getter on our team. Once again, top of the team, 93 points to lead the way, and Patrick Line leading the way in goals once again with 35. Whereas Leakins, 40 wins, 6 shutouts, a 9-2-0 save percentage, and a 2.43 goals against average. Solid work from him. Corpus Allo, not so great in the backup position. Bergeron led the league in points with 99. Austin Matthews led the league in goals with 50. Samsonov and Merzlikens seem to be simming really well. Samsonov, once again, with the most wins in the league with 41. One ahead of Merzlikens. He had a 9 0 9 save percentage, though, and a 2.71 goals against average. So not as hot as Merzlikens there. We're facing the New York Rangers in the first round. We still can't get a playoff series win as we lose to the New York Rangers in seven games. Luckily, we don't have to worry about them next year because they do move on to win the Stanley Cup and they will be removed from the league. Boone Jenner led our team in points in the playoffs with nine. He also led our team in goals with four. 
Merzlikens at 3.02 goals against average, 901 save percentage, one shutout. But once again, can't get the job done. We can't win a playoff series. And just Sturkin, 16 wins, one shutout, a 904 save percentage, and a 2.86 goals against average. Not the best stats, but he did get the job done at the end of the day. Luckily, we make the playoffs again with a 42, 31 9 record, 93 points for fourth in our division. Another lower year for points, 74 points for Goudreau led the team in 27 goals, tied him with Line for the first time to lead the team. Ligans 35 wins, a 9-1-5 save percentage, a 2.63 goals against average, and two shutouts. And Samsonov once again leading the league in wins with 39. He had five shutouts, a 9-1-9 save percentage, and a 2.50 goals against average. Uh, McDavid led the league in points with 101. And goals went to Ovechkin with 54. We have to at least win a playoff series, right? Our first opponents being the Pittsburgh Penguins. And we finally get it done with a sweep of Pittsburgh. Moving on to the second round to face the Washington Capitals. Sadly, we lose that series in five games. Literally every game was 3-2 to two except for game three, which was 4-2. to two. We lost all of them except for game one. Once again, the team we lost to went on to win the Stanley Cup as the Washington Capitals are your Stanley Cup champions and they will not be performing in next season. Johnny Gaudreau had a good playoffs. Nine points to lead the team. Six goals to lead the team. But it once again, was not enough to win a cup. Merzlikens 922 save percentage at 2.41 goals against average with a shutout, only getting five wins in the nine games played, but pretty good stats for him. David led the playoffs in points with 25, as well as leading the playoffs in goals with 13, but they did not win the cup. And on we go to Darcy Kemper, 16 wins, one shutout, a 932 save percentage, and a 2.13 goals against average. Well, after removing five teams from the NHL, we are finally atop of the league with 109 points, a 53, 26, and 3 record. Drew led the team in points with 107, while Line led the team in goals with 57 absolutely popping off. Rizlikens 41 wins in 68 games, played 5 shoutouts, a 908 save percentage, and a 2.86 goals against average, but Corpus Allo finally showed up in the backup role. Two shoutouts, a 930 save percentage, and a 2.08 goals against average. And unsurprisingly, Goodrow's 107 points led the league, as well as Patrick Line's. 57 goals leading the league as well. And Merzlikens 41 wins also led the league as well. Everything's lining up. It feels like our year. We're playing the Buffalo Sabres in the first round. A shaky start to the series, losing the first two games, but we do get it done in six games, winning four to three in game number six. We are facing the New York Islanders in the second round, and they sweep us no problem, and we're once again out in the second round. The Florida Panthers are your Stanley Cup champions. I feel like there's better teams that could be winning that we could be getting rid of, but that's who we're getting rid of this season. Four checks. 10 points led our team in the playoffs, while well, Linus four goals led in goals. Rizlikens sadly not having a great playoffs, only a 9 0 1 save percentage and a 3.31 goals against average. Besser and Barkov led the league in points with 28, while well, goals went to Barzal and Besser with 11. And Bobrovsky winning the honors of the Stanley Cup with a 9 2 0 save percentage and a 2.44 goals against average, racking up two shutouts along the way. Year number seven, we finished 44 30 and 8, 96 points second in our division and fifth in the NHL. Another lower year in points, 78 for Goudreau, while Line's 33 led the team in goals. Merzlikens only winning half the games he was in, 34 wins and 68 games played, a 9-1 save percentage, a 2.68 goals against average, and two shutouts. There's a tie for first in the league in points between Kucherov and Stamkos, so I think the Lightning did rather well. Plus Kucherov leading the league in goals with 57, and Vasilevsky leading the league in wins with 38, a 9-0-5 save percentage, and a 2.70 goals against average. New Jersey Devils in round number one. I don't know how, but we end up sweeping them. No problem. And we face the Carolina Hurricanes in the second round. Momentum seems to be on our side as we win that series in five games. Now go on to face Toronto in the conference finals. I don't know if we're going to win this, though. I don't like how this is going to go. Sadly, we lose in game seven, three to two in overtime. And we will not be moving on to the Stanley Cup finals. I'm kind of sad. I was hoping that would be the one. And the Toronto Maple Leafs move on to win the whole thing. So at least we don't have to worry about them next year. Here is the playoff tree for people who care because I kind of forgot to show it. Voracek led our team in points with 15, but he did not lead in goals. That would go with Texier and Jenner, both with five. Goudreau, not a good playoffs at all. I mean, not bad, obviously, but only 10 points in 16 games and three goals. Whereas Leakins held his own only one shutout, but a 9-2-0 save percentage and a 2.38 goals against average. Can't ask for much more from him, realistically. But Austin Matthews went absolutely psycho. 19 goals to lead the playoffs and 36 points to lead the playoffs as well. And Samsonov finally gets his ring after dominating the simulations. Not the best save percentage, only an 895. And not the best goals against average at 3.09. But it doesn't matter. They get the job done. They are Stanley Cup champions. Year number 8, 41, 31, 10 record. Ninth in the NHL, earning 92 points. Technically tied for 8th with the Canucks. Orchick dethrones Goodrow as our team point leader with 82 points. But goals still going to Patrick Line with 33. Rizlikens wins half his games again with a 9 0 2 save percentage and a 2.92 goals against average. Dreisaitl McDavid popping off. Dreisaitl leading the league in points with 117, while also leading the league in goals with 55. 
Amble as well, leading the league in wins by a large margin with 45, the closest being 33 from Jari. He had a 919 save percentage and a 2.36 goals against average with five shutouts. We get the Vancouver Canucks in the first round, and we lose to the Vancouver Canucks in the first round after going up 3-1. We drop the series 4-3. At least the Edmonton Oilers finally won, so we don't have to worry about them anymore. Line 8 leading our team in points with 7 and goals with 4. Rizlikens struggled really badly in 8.78 save percentage and a 3.60 goals against average. Don't even look at Corpus Allo. That just doesn't make any sense. He played for a minute and let in one goal, one shot. The game just completely broke. 49.32 goals against average. What the heck? Jack Campbell leading the way for Edmonton. 3 shutouts and 9.21 save percentage and a 2.36 goals against average. While Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl looked like they were playing in a completely different league, 38 points for Dreisaitl, 41 for McDavid, and 15 goals for McDavid as well, both leading in those categories. The next day. So it's a day later and Columbus just got murdered by Tage Thompson, so hopefully that's motivation for them to win today. We finish 11th in the league. In our ninth season, we have eight teams removed from the league. We're still only finishing 11th. Johnny Gaudreau led our team in points and goals, 78 points, 31 goals. Ligans only won 30 games and 69 play with three shadows, a 9.08 save percentage and a 2.80 goals against average. But Corpus Solo in the backup position played really good. One shot on 9.40 save percentage and a 1.86 goals against average. 11 wins and 15 games played. Trevor Zegers led the league in points with 103, while Patrick Kane led the league in goals with 49. Vasilevsky led the lead in goalie wins with 42, a 9.17 save percentage and a 2.50 goals against average getting five shutouts along the way. We faced the New York Islanders in the first round, and we were once again out in the first round, losing in six games. We almost got swept. We kind of made a comeback, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. There are still so many good teams to get rid of, but apparently we're getting rid of the Anaheim Ducks as they are Stanley Cup champions, beating Pittsburgh in seven games. Nyquist led our team in playoff points with eight. He also led the team in playoff goals with four. Brzezikens only two wins, but one of them being a shutout, a 900 save percentage and a 2.66 goals against average. John Gibson getting... The Stanley Cup, 16 wins, 926 save percentage, 2.20 goals against average. Three shutouts definitely earned it. Crosby leading the playoffs in points with 29 and in goals with 14. Year number 10, we're finishing fifth in the entire league with a 48.9 and 5 record. 101 points earned. Vegas and Tampa tied for first. Drew 95 points to lead the team. Well, Patrick Lining leading the team in goals once again with 39. Starting to think Corpus Allo might be the move. Another really solid backup year. 10 wins in 16 games, but a 9-2-9 save percentage and a 2.20 goals against average. Kudrov and Stamkos tearing up the league once again, 108 points for Kudrov to lead the league, then 104 for Stamkos. Stamkos scoring 47 goals to lead the league there as well. Ottinger had the most wins for goalies with 40. He had a 9-1-7 save percentage and a 2.53 goals against average with three shutouts. Is the 10th season lucky? We're facing off against the Carolina Hurricanes in the first round. Starting off great because we win the first round 4-2. A solid, close series. We're facing the Pittsburgh Penguins in the second round, who I'm very scared of. But we somehow hold on and beat them in seven games, which is a big dub. We move on to the conference finals to face the Tampa Bay Lightning. I don't know how the Tampa Bay Lightning are still here. We're on the 10th season, and they still haven't won a cup. And of course, we lose the series in seven games. We were so close, man, at least to making it to the cup final. We still haven't even done that, never mind to win it. And of course, they don't even win the Stanley Cup. The LA Kings beat them in seven games. To win it all so we still have to deal with tampa next year and we still have to deal with boston there's so many good teams still here 19 points for Gaudreau led the team in the playoffs as well as 10 goals leading the team there as well and whereas leakins a 914 save percentage and a 2.81 goals against average not doing bad at all but in the end we still can't get the job done and i feel like it's never gonna happen al Pedersen led the league in wins obviously winning the stanley cup 16 wins a 937 save percentage and a 1.92 goals against average so a great performance by him amazing especially when i have to go down a seventh in the league for playoff points to find the first la king player which is dowdy Lauren led the league with 24 kudrov led the league in goals with 14 Corey perry scoring 11 which is actually pretty crazy year number 11 we finish with a 42 31 and 9 record eighth in the league well, Tampa Bay is just dominating 55 wins, 117 points. Goudreau leading our team in points with 73, and Line 8 leading our team in goals with 37. The names don't seem to change, and the numbers are either pretty high or pretty low. There's Leakins, 912 save percentage, 2.63 goals against average, 37 wins, 68 games played. Corpus Allo finally dropped off a lot, and not the best stats. Vasilevsky leading the league in wins once again, 41 wins, a 930 save percentage, and a 2.07 goals against average, and 8 shutouts. He's definitely getting the Vesna. 
Kucherov led the league in points with 111, and I believe he also led the league in goals, which he did with 54. Gonna be surprised if we win the cup before Tampa Bay, but either way, the New York Islanders in the first round. I think I'm starting to go insane. We literally just got reverse sweeped. I, I can't take it much longer. 11 seasons down, no Stanley Cup finals, which obviously means no Stanley Cups won. This, te this team sucks. On the bright side, the Tampa Bay Lightning finally win the Stanley Cup. We don't have to deal with them anymore. Vasilevsky, 16 wins, 9-1-2 save percentage, and a 2.66 goals against average, leading the way for the Stanley Cup. Kucherov, Stamkos, Hedman, point. They all dominated 30 points for Stamkos to lead the league, and 13 goals also leads. Okay, let's try this again. We're top of the league this year with a 49 at 25 and 8 record, 106 points earned. You're all leading your team points with 93. Alainé led our team in goals with 37. Berlikens a 9-1-3 save percentage at 2.58 goals against average, 41 wins and 68 games played. Shifley leading the league in points with 107, while Mr. Philip Forsberg led the league in goals with 44. Tristan Jari leading the league in wins with 43, a 9-1-7 save percentage and a 2.50 goals against average, also getting seven shutouts. We face the Devils in the first round, and we lose in seven games. We're the king of losing seven game series. I feel like that's the one thing I've learned today. What does a man have to do to get the Columbus Blue Jackets a cup? Apparently, get rid of literally the entire league. And even then, they'll probably still lose. The New York Islanders are your Stanley Cup champions. And I have officially reached my breaking point. So for the rest of the video, we're not looking at any stats. No funny business. We're just focusing on the cup. Here, number 13, we finished sixth in the entire league. We got the Philadelphia Flyers in the first round. Let's beat them. Let's move on. Four of the games went to overtime, which is crazy. We won two. They won two. It was back and forth a seven to six game. All that to probably lose to the Carolina Hurricanes in the second round. Luckily, we do get the job done against Carolina winning. Moving on to the conference finals, but we have to beat the Boston Bruins because somehow on year 13, they still haven't won a cup. So they're still here. They're the only thing in our way from our first attempt at winning the cup. And probably very unsurprisingly, we get swept by Boston, so our dreams are crushed once again. At least they would move on to win the Stanley Cup, so we don't have to worry about them anymore. A year number 14, we finish 8th in the league with a 44-34-4 record. The friggin' Ottawa Senators are first in the league, 52-26-4. I knew this was going to take a while, but I didn't think it was going to take this long. We got the Carolina Hurricanes in the first round. And we're out once again in the first round. And what great team will we not have to face next year? Well, it's the Seattle Kraken as they move on win the Stanley Cup, beating Carolina in the Stanley Cup Finals. Day 15! Give it up for Day 15! Year number 15, jumping straight into the playoffs. No funny business. We got the Philadelphia Flyers in the first round. We're watching it live. Do it. Do it. Please. Yes, one game away. Please win. Year number 15. We get the first round done. We get the Detroit Red Wings in the second round. Maybe the live commentary is lucky. Can you, can you please win for me? No. No. Wait, we tie the series. It's fine. We got this. I believe in miracles. And the miracle is dead because we lose to Detroit in the second round. This is just getting ridiculous at this point. The Detroit Red Wings go on to win the Stanley Cup. We're going to be down to 17 teams. So next year, if we still don't win, it'll, the regular season just won't matter or the playoffs is going to be shorter. In the 16th season, only one team does not make the playoffs. And that team was the Montreal Canadiens. We finished the 41, 35 and 6 record finishing 10th in the league. Arizona Coyotes in the first round, the whole standings and all that is just completely messed up. Can we please win now? Please beat Arizona. No, I swear, okay. I thought we were gonna get swept. We tie the series, we're fine. Three games to go, a win, a loss. Are you, you, we can't even beat Arizona? Why am I even here? I think this is when you're supposed to quit, but I'm not quitting. Who's winning the stupid cup? The uh, Pittsburgh Penguins are your Stanley Cup champions, so Arizona didn't even go on to win, so they eliminated us for our nothing. It looks like the season has changed already. There's only eight teams in the Stanley Cup playoffs. And luckily, we did make it. Hopefully, we can win finally in year 17. Chicago Blackhawks are our first round opponent. Seven games, spin them. We lose, we lose, we lose, we win, we lose. We're done. We're already like, this team is so bad. The Philadelphia Flyers are your Stanley Cup champions. Let's move on to year number 18. Let's see how long it takes. I'm not even sure if I can raise the number at this point, but only four teams make the playoffs now with 15 teams in the league. And luckily, somehow, we snag the third spot. It's now or never. I think we should face Montreal, which would make us finally go to our first Stanley Cup finals if we can beat them. Now we're facing Winnipeg. Never mind. I'm nervous. I'm assuming the first four games just don't get swept. A win, yes. A loss is not ideal, but we are up three to one. If Montreal beats Carolina, we have to win. We have to win. We get the job done, but Carolina is up 3-2 to two against Montreal. 
they sadly move on so it's not going to be a cakewalk at all game one goes to the columbus blue jackets game two goes to the carolina hurricanes i'm nervous i really want this to end at this point I'm going on for way too long we win game number three game number four does not go our way though they win six to four we need this win we need it we don't get it in overtime please to force game seven i'm begging you if we lose in oh are you gotta be kid i i'm out of words put me out of my misery please please year number 19 we never even made the playoffs and the buffalo sabers are your standing up champions i'm trying one more time year 20 it has to happen please year number 20 we find ourselves against winnipeg in the semifinals. our final season game was also against winnipeg so it kind of looks weird we're one win away from moving on we're up three to two and we please get the job done thank you we do get the job done and we're in the Stanka finals once again facing the calgary flames though the calgary flames are the final thing standing in our way can we please just beat them the series is tied two to two they take the series lead it's fine we'll force game seven we do force game seven fancy sim for all the marbles game seven stanley cup finals it's now or never first period sim we're up one to nothing cole cylinder beats markstrom second period we are up two to nothing johnson scores on markstrom as well this has taken way too long we're 15 in-game minutes away just do it we're outplaying them so hard please 10 minutes nine eight seven six five four three two one the columbus blue jackets are stanley cup champions it took 19 teams removed from the league 20 seasons but we do get the job done and we end with the awards our ross trophy johnny gaudreau our memorial trophy at mark shifley james norris eric carlson lady bing johnny gaudreau calder robertson on san jose which is absolutely messed up don't ask questions on smite patrick line you love to see it Vesna markstrom william M. jennings markstrom bill masterson box this Jack Adams, Vancouver coach, Frank J. Selke, Lindholm, Ed Lindsay, Shifley, Maurice Richard, Alaine. If you managed to make it this far, please like the video because it helps send it to more people so more people can see me suffer. And it helps out a lot. All I have left to say is thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.